What up, what up? It's Main Event Mike as we barrel towards the start of the new league year in the NFL and the beginning of free agency on March 13th. Lions general manager Brad Holmes made it very clear taking care of his in-house players is priority one at this stage of the season. And that starts with our number one player, Amon Ra St. Brown, all pro wide receiver, Amon Ra St. Brown, not just Pro Bowl, folks. All pro, six foot, 202 pounds, fourth round draft pick from USC in the 2021 draft. He is quickly becoming one of my all-time favorite Lions. Just his perseverance, his strength, his grit. He he embodies what this team's all about. And the coaches, GMs, fans, everyone loves Saint. Amon Ross St. Brown, let's talk about it. The contract is rumored to be between 25 and 27 million. He's worth every nickel. Let's not dispute that. Now, he's redef- redefining the slot position when you think about it. Amon Ra lined up in the slot 64% of the time in 2023. He had 163 targets and 119 receptions. That is a 73% clip. That's in traffic, contested every catch he made. He still caught 73% of the balls, a drop rate, one of the lowest in the league at 1.8%. That's reliability, durability. He played in every game, but one, he missed week five against the Carolina Panthers. He still finished the season with 1,515 yards, 10 touchdowns, nine of those 10 touchdowns came in the lions, 12 wins. So when Amon Ra makes it to the end zone, the Lions usually win. Reliability, dependability, toughness, strength, perseverance, all these words used all the time to describe this player, Amon Ra St. Brown. Let's look at some of the split stats here. Some very, very interesting stuff here. Amon Ra accounted for 28.5% of the Detroit Lions offensive plays in 2023. That is folks is elite that is in the 95 percentile he's one of the top target getters in the league and he's hit with that drop rate 1159 snaps only one fumble one fumble all year lines up in the slot like i said 64 percent of the time he's basically redefining the slot receiver position it used to be a little guy five eight five nine catching julian edelman Danny Amendola, catching passes from Tom Brady across the middle, slants. Some of the other fan bases are calling him Amon Ross Slant Brown. Well, he's got the highest win rate, win rate in the league when covered by linebackers. So they can call him whatever they want. The truth is he's a number one receiver on this team. And even if you get an X receiver, whether that be a free agency or through the draft, to play outside the numbers, Amon Ross still going to be the number one receiver on this team because he's such a great route runner on top of all the other things that we say about him, all those other words we use to describe him. There's a stat called percent targeted on. And what this is, this is a route running metric to know if your receiver is a good route runner or not. He was targeted on route. 28.3% of the time, that again is in the top 95 percentile of wide receivers in the league. One of the best route runners in the league. The metrics bear it out and the stats bear it out as well, as well as being voted all pro. On his pro day, of course, at USC, he ran a 4.59. Brad Holmes was quoted as saying, no one was happier than me when Amon Ra ran a 4.59. (laughs) It was the greatest day in Detroit Lions history, the day he ran that 40 at 4.59 and slipped. He was rumored to be the seventh overall rated wide receiver, but he slipped. There were 17 taken ahead of him. It may go down in history as the greatest fourth round draft pick of all time. If you could think of a better one, please leave it in the comments. I mean, I haven't Googled that. If there's been a better fourth round draft pick, sure, Tom Brady was a sixth round draft pick. But when this is all said and done, we're talking about number 14 being in the ring of honor as a Detroit Lion. He's going to go down 
as one of the greatest Detroit Lions of all time, regardless if we ever win a Super Bowl or not. Just the trajectory that he's on, his approach to the game, and that's key. It's his approach to the game. Maybe it's from his weightlifting background with his dad, Mr. Universe, a couple times. Instilling that work ethic in him. Just keep lifting. Put your head down. Just keep lifting. It's admirable. I'm a huge Amon Ross St. Brown, St. Brown fan. And I know you all are too. Um, so 25 million to 27 million. Hey, let's do it. I expect it'll get done very quick. I expect it'll get done probably by the time you even see this video. It may be done. If the ink may be drying on it as we speak and it just hasn't broke yet. But I do know that March 11th, the legal tampering period begins. And it's that point that Brad Holmes really needs to shift his focus to free agency. And I expect Amon Ra to be the first one to get signed, um, as we all do, obviously. Um, strength, such great strength. At his pro day, he put up 20 reps of 225 pounds. At six foot, 202 pounds, that's elite. That's elite for a wide receiver. In the top 90 percentile for wide receivers in the bench press. Um, I was at 119 reception, 163 targets at 73% with a 1.8% drop rate. Guy's just a stud. There's nothing he can't do. He's going to be an all time great Detroit lion. Take it for me. You don't, you know, Ray Charles could see that for all the haters. You can call him whatever you want to us. We'll call him sun. God, we'll call him all pro on main event. Mike peace out.